Hi guys, um, this is Zero here, just doing a another tutorial video. Um, I've had a lot of people ask me um, stuff on Let's Plays, so I figure now's as good a time as any to start doing tutorials on them. The first one I'm going to do is on Capture Card Let's Plays. Um, now, this is the more common or one of the better methods for doing a Let's Play. Uh, there's some people who use stream recorders for for PC games. Today we're focusing mostly on console games. Um, now I do recommend if you're if you're uh, if your computer's slow or you want to record something if your computer if your computer's really old and slow and you don't want to deal with emulator lag or you want to record something um, past you want to record something Nintendo 64 and to now. Um, capture card is really the best way to go. You can also use a DVD recorder, which I do have, um, but I don't use it that often. So let's go ahead and take a look at the capture card stuff. I'm just going to put this around. So this is the capture card I have. The Avermedia USB Maker Gold is what it's called. And this is about eighty dollars in retail. You can get it online for about forty to fifty bucks. I think retail now you can get it at certain places for about for pretty cheap. So, but yeah, it comes with the uh, little thing, um, the little capture device. It's used for it's. It comes with editing software in it, but I don't really use the editing software. It's used to do tape, video game, and make video. And this comes with the capture card and I think some RCA cables. So this is a um, this was my second capture card. My first one is was a Dazzle DVC 100, which I would still be using, but uh, due to some audio errors with it, I no longer use it. So this is the uh, this is the this is the step up from it. And this is a standard definition capture card, like my other one, like the DVC 100. Um, so yeah, if you can't afford this, if you can't afford this card, a Dazzle is just is just fine. Uh, there's a lot of negative reviews about the Dazzle, but it's mostly people who have compatibility issues and can't get it to work. There is unknown audio issues with the Dazzle, but um, uh, that's it, it's a rare thing. So, anyways, there's the uh, there's the case for it, and here is the um, the the DVD Easy. Easy Maker USB Gold, and this is my actual capture card. It's got a USB end for the PC, and it has composite video and audio and S video. Now, this thing, uh, it's got a little bit of a dent and a crack in it. Um, it still works fine. Um, this is how I record. This is how I've been recording most of my LPs lately. Um, I usually only use this if I got to record anything from Nintendo 64 up, or if it's just more convenient for me to record on a capture card. So yeah, this thing is pretty standard. Um, the Dazzle does about the same. So either way, like if you want, if you want, a, the, the only thing I can say is this has better quality than the Dazzle. So if you want slightly better quality, go ahead with this. The only reason I didn't get another Dazzle is because I couldn't find one in, in my city anymore. They stopped selling them in all the stores. But they sold this at Staples, and it was on sale for about 50 bucks. It retails for about 80 so um, I got a good deal with it. So, yeah. next thing we're going to take a look at here is, here's my TV. This is the TV I record off. And what I usually do is I'll plug the game system in here or in the back of my TV, which this might be a bit of a problem to be able to see, but we'll try. So, I don't know if you can see there, you know, it would help if I turn on a light. I don't know if you can see there, but I have video in and video out. What I like to do, here's the video in, my second video in. What I usually do is I plug in here, my, if I'm not plugged into the side here, I plug in here, for my game console, and this is the video out. I get another cable, and I take that cable, plug it into my, uh, plug it into my, uh, my capture card, and then that goes through. So I can use my TV to play the game and use my computer to capture it. Now, because of the way my TV is, it's a con convex TV, uh, an old school convex TV. Um, what something you might notice in my LPs is that 
on the higher on the tops and bottoms is a little brighter that's because that's the way these TV screens are made it's a little dusty too because it's because it's convex because it goes in a bubble shape it has to put light up here and light down here to even out and that comes out in my cash recordings but there are ways to fix that it's not 100% but there are ways to fix that now if you don't have AV out um, you're either going to need to get a splitter um, an out splitter or you're going to have to just plug your game console into the capture card and use the and play using the software now this isn't too bad but there is for games like Paper Mario where you have to have timing this could plugging in directly here can this can be bad because there is a slight delay um, until you get used to it like like games like that you need uh, absolute precision with like Tony Hawk I would not recommend directing I would rec recommend going through your TV or your splitter just because you'll save yourself from getting that delay that delay can screw you up so much so anyways um, that's enough for this part um, next in the next part of this tutorial we'll go over uh, We'll go over capturing the video from the capture card to your PC and uh, making it usable for editing. Alright, thanks for watching this video guys, and I'll see you on the next one. Take care.